Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nikulescu, you know me for a lot of automation with your iPad. Today we'll talk about ChatGPT and you'll see how we'll use ChatGPT to extract uh, tables from PDF. Remember that I have here an, uh, a video with um, 17 use cases how to extract tables from PDF and I teach you how to write uh, VB.NET code, how to make algorithms to be able to extract this data and so on. Today we'll do the same stuff but we'll do it with ChatGPT. And you will see how ChatGPT can format your data, yeah? So let's understand what you have. We have the 70 PDF here. We have this, um, this one, for example, and we want to extract the table. Now, to be able to extract the table from a PDF, normally you will go and cut the PDF from, uh, from this one, uh, from, uh, from number to down, and extract the data. Let's see how we'll do this with ChatGPT. And um, uh, I will, uh, as uh, like uh, the old movie, uh, I will have here um, uh, the data. So basically, the the structure will be like this. Um, you will have read PDF text. So basically, you will have the. We we'll talk only about digital PDF. This um, uh, this will return me a string. So all PDF will be a string, and we'll, we'll see here the uh, the string on on this um, text files to analyze to understand how we approach the. Um, how we approach the uh, the stuff, so how we cut and everything, and um, then you'll see what we'll have inside. So we'll uh, cut the string in the in the first case. Uh, this will cut uh, under number description. So here, uh, they, if you take a look here on uh, on this one, so when we arrive here, here is the header. We find the index of number description, and from here to down, we have all the table. So we have the string like that, uh, copied like that. Then we'll do um, we'll do this. So uh, with ChatGPT, because you know there is a lot of traffic, there is a lot of traffic uh, with ChatGPT. I have this sequence that I use also on other um, uh, movies uh, to retry uh, three times, three times or four times um, if ChatGPT is not responding. So basically, I send the HTTP request. You have here the video on on YouTube. With uh, on my uh, YouTube account with uh, um, uh, with the videos where I have all the configuration on API, so I will not use I will not lose the time of the movie of the, the configuration API configuration. So here you have uh, API configuration for ChatGPT with all the example uh, with example of how you extract the, the API key how and so on. So this will be just the HTTP request, and inside of the HTTP request, I will put this. In case, in, case, in case of this one, I will say format this table, then I will put uh, uh, LF from line feed, and then I will put a string, okay? Done. So uh, then I will go and extract the, the, the data. After I will extract the data, I will go and have a procedure to be able to create the, um, the table. So... I will use this variable, boolean variable, then I will have a data table. This data table by default will have only one column because think about chat GTP will return me some lines and I have to parse that and create a data table and that will write to Excel. I will write the, uh, the answer here so you will see exactly what uh, what I parse and what I uh, um, um, uh, what I write. So let's see here, uh, uh, error, bam, 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 my answer. And we'll write here um, is, is the answer from, from chat GPD. Yeah. And on this answer, I have to split the answer online. So character uh, 10, it's carriage return. So I split the answer from chat GPD on, on carriage return. And then here I will replace, uh, 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 so I will replace the, uh, the dash with nothing. I will replace the space with nothing. And I will replace them uh, also. I will replace them. Uh, uh, the bar with nothing, yeah? So this is in case, if I have an empty line, so I will say trim, and I have an empty line, I will jump from that empty line. If I have a line with data, if it's the first line, then I will uh, I will have to create the, um, the headers, yeah? So basically here, I have split on uh, on bar, and I put the, the column name, in a data table, so add <laughs> data table. So first time, first time when I um, 
when I parse everything, so I have the column name, the data table. Then I will say invoke method, and with the invoke method, I will remove the first column, yeah? So uh, remember, my data table by default has the column one. When I when I read first time the data from ChatGPT, I will get the headers. And when I get the headers, I will put all my, I will create columns with the, with the, the data from headers. And now and I will remove the first column. And to be able to remove the first column, I will say remove at, and here on the parameters, I will put zero, yeah? So I will remove at the zero then. And if it's not the first line, I will add just the data. So I will add the data on uh, on this split with data table, yeah? So this is the way how, how it works. Good. And in the end, I will write the data table to the result XLS, yeah? On the sheet one. So I will delete this one. And uh, let's see in working, yeah? So this, this is the procedure. In this procedure, you will see that I will repeat uh, um, uh, everywhere. Now, first PDF. I have this PDF, yeah? We'll cut on the number in description. And from this one to the end will be the text. So I will send this text, this all text to uh, to ChatGPT. And ChatGPT will format, uh, will format this, uh, this one uh, as a table. So run it, and data is sent to JanGPT. It's uh, I think it's crowded on on this hour, but uh, we'll see how how it's working for the big uh, for the big um, PDFs. We'll not send the data. We'll show you the result, and here is the result. Yeah, so here is uh, the result. And it's exactly my table, and here I have with the with the total and so on. Yeah. So take a look on my table. And here he put the total here with uh, with this one. So he was able to extract all the table in a very nice way with just parts at Excel. That's it. Yeah. Done. Let's go to the next one. The next one. Uh, it's PDF two. Uh, let's uh, open the PDF. Here I already have the result. I will not. Um, uh, so this is the uh, the result. Uh, this is this is the, the PDF. What I will cut, I will cut from here. So I will cut. Uh, I will go and um, uh, cut from here. Uh, properties and here open. So I will cut from SR. You see here, this is the data. And now you see that here he has uh, multiple lines. Yeah. Uh, to be able to uh, uh, to give this one, I have the same code. But here, let's see how it's the. Um, uh... So to help him, what I say to the chat GPT, I say format disable as. And I say. It's one header, four columns, and I want to split it with um, um, with bar, yeah? So in the prompt, I provide him this stuff that it's one header, four columns. Because if you take a look here on the data from, uh, from, um, uh, from raw data, you'll see that it's ambiguous, yeah? So to be able to help chat, chat GDP, I say to he, uh, to say that I say to him that it's one uh, uh, one header and you have four columns and based on this one you will be able to extract it. It's a long one. I will not run it and I will show you the result. And you have to believe me on the result. This is the result. And here you see that the, all the lines are like this. But you here you just have to go and change the br from um, uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, from HTML, if you instead of uh, BR from HTML, you have to put a new line and you'll see it uh, normally in uh, uh, in Excel. Okay, so he was able to extract uh, uh, very well this uh, this table, but like I said, you need to provide him on the on the prompt. I provide him this one instead of just formatting this table. I will provide him that has one header, four columns, and I have to split on this. Good. Let's go to the third one and let's see what we have. So the third PDF, it's this one. 
done. So you see, you have a lot of uh, data here. Okay, so it's a big, uh, big data PDF, and let's see how the data it's um, it's showing. So the data, the raw data, uh, it's uh, um, it's like this, yeah. The raw data is like this, and take a look here how uh, ChatGDP returned this data. So this is the way how ChatGDP uh, returned uh, the data, yeah, and. Uh, I will show you the prompt. So if we go here, what I will do, I will uh, uh, first split the name. So I will go um, on this one. And you see, before getting the data, the last word is name. So I say the last part of the name. Yeah. And then I will stop here on authorized by. So uh, I have to to glow split on the name and then here we'll cut until authorized uh, authorized by so we cut the string to have only only that part yeah and let's see the uh, uh, this remain the same so all the logic from here uh, remain the same but here on the so everywhere the logic uh, remain the same the only thing that you change is the change the, the prompt that you send to chat gpt and to set the to, uh, prompt to send to JGPD in this case, it's make a table with 30, uh, 22 col uh, columns from this. Yeah. So I indicate him the number of columns. And when I indicate him the number, the number of columns, because I'm not able to, to write, uh, to read the, uh, the header from that table, it's very complicated. Yeah. So I provide him the number of columns. He will create me the, uh, the number of columns. He will return an answer like this. And after I get the uh, the answer like this, uh, this will be able to write to Excel and I have a full Excel. So you see, it's very important how you approach. Very simple, uh, um, very simple stuff that you ask ChatGPT. But uh, you form on the table, you provide him a header or you provide him an... Um, um, I think it's, it's too busy, the, the server. Yeah, you see, you don't have an answer because the, the server is it's too busy to... Uh, uh, to do this stuff, so that's why I, I keep I kept the uh, um, I can run it again, but on this hour I think the service is is too busy. So, but you understand the idea. So the response when uh, when the server is not busy, the uh, the response was uh, was like this, yeah, and uh, this uh, this response was uh, formatted as an um, um, as an Excel, and this uh, uh, generate a, a correct Excel with the data. Yeah, it's busy the server now. What we can do in these cases, so when when the when the server is busy, uh, um, we can. Oh, I have a, I have already a lot, so I have I have a lot of. Um, uh, um, I have a lot on the. Uh, uh, on the time, it's it's busy. The save server, I understand. Yeah, but that's why I save this uh, this here to to see the response and um, uh, to understand how the system will parse this one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's uh, hit the last try with uh, uh, with uh, with ChatGDP on on this hour. But uh, I guarantee you that uh, uh, it's working because you see here the response. So it's just uh, playing, uh, playing the response. No, no, no response. It's, it's not able to uh, uh, to respond. Uh, let's go further and let's go to the fifth PDF. So PDF number five is this one. Simple one, yeah. So we have to cut from here to here. And let's see what was the. So we just cut between the uh, strings from here and here. Yep. After we we cut uh, we uh, we cut the stuff, we'll um, uh, be able to um, to do make a table from the string. That's all. And let's hope that the server will be easy for us on. Uh, on this one, and uh, we'll get the, the response, yeah?
Do you see an, a very simple uh, question? Uh, we don't delete the uh, the last uh, um, the last response, so it can be overlapped, but no problem. Done. You write the the response. As I say, it can be an overlap, but uh, that's uh, that's the uh, the response of the uh, of the data. You see, let's see again the PDF. This is the PDF, and that's the uh, uh, the response. Yeah. This this line it's the line from the other. Uh, um, done. So we, is everything it's done. Let's uh, clean this one. Let's clean this one, and let's go to the next one. Um. Let's go to the next one and let's see PDF number six. PDF number six. This is the PDF. And this is tricky because it's um, uh, with multiple um, elements on a line. And let's see how it's uh, um, going. So the data on the five, it was very easy. So on five, the data is like this. It was very easy. Let's see the data on six. This is the data on six. And uh, the data is like this. So uh, basically, you have to cut from SN to example 5. Let's see on 6. So we'll cut from uh, SN to example 5, index of XN uh, to example 5. So I do this cut. After I do the cut, I have to ask ChatGPT and let's see what will be the. Uh, um, so format this table, uh, format this as a table with one header and six columns, okay? And let's see what he will answer. So because here it's with multiple lines and so on, I have to provide him the uh, uh, some data. And I provide him that it's one header and six columns. Yep. Uh, because you see the data here, it's oh, it's uh, be able to extract this data, and let's see uh, uh, what is inside. This is my data, which looks good. What he missed, because I think he missed something. He put, so he extract only this part of the uh, on the on the first element. On the uh, on the second element, he extract everything. Let's take a look. Yes, on the uh, on the first element uh, he extract only that part. On the second element he extract um, uh, he extract this stuff. Yeah. So this is this is the way how um, uh, he approached. Uh, I can. Um, I will try. Let's try to do something else. So basically, if we uh, if if we don't need the exact description, it's perfect. I have the, the data. If I need the exact description, let's try to add something on the um, uh, on code. So here, here we'll say uh, uh, oh, column two, second column. Second column, multiple lines, multiple lines. I don't know if it's uh, able to, to extract that, but if I don't need the uh, if I don't need um, all the description, it will be perfect without any doubt. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh, I think, I think, I think I know. I know, I know. Uh, I uh, forgot split. So he get the data. But uh, let's. Split by
Vous voulez titre Voilà, Voila, you have everything. So he extract everything. We just need to provide him the data. So we just need to provide him this one. So format this table as, and I describe the table, one header, six column, second column, multiple lines. He understand this stuff. It's, it's, it's not a problem to say this. And split by, uh, 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 split by bar. Yeah. And we have all the table. Easy like that. Let's go further. And let's see what uh, we have. We have number eight. On number eight, we have uh, this table. Ah, this is an easy one for sure. We'll just split on quantity and uh, that. So we split uh, from quantity. Yep. And after we split from quantity, we uh, say format as a table. That's it. And uh, he will provide this this answer. So you see, it depends on all the table. So. It's the way how you how you talk with him, how you give him simple simple stuff on on English, and he's able to 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 format this for you. Um, and this is the day. Yep. Uh, these two are the data from the from the last day because he's not uh, he's overwriting. Is not uh, right. Yeah, payment on this one, terms condition. So because I don't cut it, um, uh, because I don't cut, he <laughs> put also term and condition. But you just need to cut uh, that part. But you see that uh, it's able to extract the quantity, the description, the unit price, and the amount. So perfect. Again, we have a good, uh, a good result. Yeah, let's cut it and let's go to the to the next one, uh, to the next element. So on the next element uh, will be uh, number nine. And here we have this table. Okay, so again, we cut on the ref and uh, should be very fast. Table, we cut on the ref. And on the, uh, the prompt, we will put, uh, we will put this one. Format the table and split by uh, bar. So important to, to be able to split by bar because sometimes it's splitting by um, um, stop. And I don't want to begin. Um, sometimes it's splitting by uh, um, by space, and the you need to modify the algorithm. So in this way, you copy the algorithm. You say split by bar, and uh, um, the algorithm remains the same. Done. Let's see the result. Here is the result. You see, we draw all the data, all the data, and so on. Done. So perfect. We have the, um, uh, we have uh, the data. Delete. Uh, Eleven. Ten, okay. Ten, it's a big one, and he was not able to uh, to proceed. And I don't want to force him with uh, with this one. So probably, if I put uh, that he has multiple lines and so on, and um, it's also with two pages, uh, uh, it's a lot of data. Uh, I I consider as uh, no um, no work. If you want to try, you have to try with with, uh, with multiple prompts to see if you you get something. But um, uh, I uh, I say no. Let's go to 11. Eleven. Oh, is this one? I think it's it's simple, but you see there's some problem with headers. Let's see how data it's it's format. So uh, on the 11, the data is format like this. So let's see what uh, we have. I think we just uh, put from this education because the headers are in the two line. So we cut from level, we cut from level, and uh, let's see the prompt. So the prompt that we sent to ChatGPT, format this table, a simple prompt, a simple prompt. 
Let's run it and let's see what we have. Here is the result and look very good. So this is the result with all the, the data with everything extract well. Yeah, good. Done. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to um, to number 12. Oh, this one has uh, 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 some fake data. So let me uh, let me explain. Uh, I don't think this will work uh, because of the uh, the fake data. So you see here the the customer when he put them uh, um, uh, when he put the PDF to the internet, he put some fake data here to avoid them um, put uh, data that will be sensible to him. And because it's fake data, the chat GPT will not understand very well the data. But we will cut from here, from this LL. And we see, we say to him what, uh, what he can do. So format this data, uh, format this data as a table with five columns and no header. And to split columns with this one. Let's see what will happen. Yeah. So I'm sure that if this was real data with the names here, the description, the, the price unit, the price kilograms, I don't know, the name of the price and blah, blah, the all the stuff, VAT or what was there, um, he was able to uh, to get everything with uh, with columns and so on. But um, uh, here with, uh, with fake data, uh, um, we'll see how this will work. So, Basically, we'll cut from here and uh, uh, giving him uh, the uh, number uh, 13. So uh, giving him the cut from here, uh, we'll see how, uh, how it's, evol it's evolving. But I think uh, the um, chat GPT is a little busy. Yep. Uh, so take a look. He's able to cut from here, but he considered that um, uh, uh, this is a column. So he was not able to uh, to understand this. Um, table, five columns, no header. Let's see here, like uh, like this. If the data was correct or was not modified, it was another uh, uh, option. But uh, in this way, I think uh, he will be uh, um, uh, not able to um, to format this correct. Nap. Nope. Um, uh, let's indicate like this. Let's let's try another one. Let's let's try another because you have to. Five columns, one string, four numbers. Uh, 
one text. First column text. Let's see if he's uh, understand this stuff. I think we have a new winner. So he was able to understand this stuff. And take a look. Take a look. We have all the data. So we have all the data correctly. And what was the uh, the clue here? So because the data is without the header, with error, and so on. So I say this. Format the data as a table with five columns, first column text, and four numeric. No header. Split the columns with this one. And he's able to understand and able to do the uh, this table with uh, with all the problems. Done. Very good. Uh, let's go further and let's go to number thirteen. So number thirteen, it's uh, this one. And uh, I think we get uh, this table is the uh, so we we'll, we'll cut on speed and then to example five. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, Here we cut on speed to example five. Ah, I think this is a simple one. I just put, uh, I don't see, show you the cut. So basically it's, uh, it's, it's just a simple cut. And here, uh, let's see the uh, the query. Aha, yep, I remember this one. So take a look here. He's able to split this one, but he's not able to understand rocket. So basically he say blue frame rocket. So we can put blue frame rocket and he's not able to, to modify this. So <laughs> I include on the uh, um, on the prompt, I include with the assu assumption that the rocket is an engine, please format the data as a table. Split the columns with this one, yeah? So let's run it and let's see, see the result. Let's uh, delete this one in the time. And here we'll see, uh, hope that ChatGDP is not too busy. <laughs> Done. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, let's see the result. Here is the result, <laughs> but he doesn't understand the rocket. <laughs> so you see, this, this, this is a problem. This is the problem. Um, let's 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 take a look uh, again on the um so the data it's perfect but instead of here he put the uh, blue blue frame rocket instead of rocket as an engine uh, let's modify a little the um so with the assumption that rocket is an engine Format the data as a table. And split. Using. Okay, so let's see if it's, so the data is perfect from the table. Everything is perfect. 
without the, that stuff with the, um, with the rocket. Because if we look on this data, you see that the data is like this. So he's not able to understand that uh, maybe instead of this one, it's a, it's a rocket. Um, so he he find a pattern that these uh, these engines they have um, data with G with G and so on. But um, in this one here is just writing rocket. So he's not able to understand to uh, to have the AI to uh, to under, understand that part. Yeah. So that that's the the, the only issue. Let's see if uh, he's able to understand now. No. So the only the only bug is it was this one. So if you are able to to go with this bug, perfect. If not, consider that uh, this is a, a fail. But I think it's really really powerful to uh, to to give the result even like this. Okay, done. Uh, cancel. Let's. Uh, um, um, and let's go to the next one. Let's go to thirteen. Uh, let's go to 15. Okay, this one is missing. This one is missing because um, he has multiple lines and uh, uh, he's making mistakes. And I don't want to force him to... Um, um, mm. To do uh, to do stuff like this. I mean, I'm I don't know how to the data. If you take a look on the data, the data is like this, and uh, with this data, you are not able to uh, to make a a, a good uh, a good analyze. So the data on this one is really bad, unfortunately. Um, let's go further and let's go to seventeen. With 17, basically we have this one. Uh, we'll take this one. You see, here I have a lot of um, empty um, elements. But you'll see that we'll keep very well with this one. Uh, so we'll go here on 17. So basically we'll, we'll cut between equipment and trans uh, transport plan. Let's see what is in the code. This is These are the cuts. Equipment number and in transport plan and let's see what is the uh, the uh, the prompt so format this data as a table that's all that's all format this data as a table this is the table and let's see the result that we'll get on the excel done So here is the result in Excel. Everything is working perfectly. He's able to, uh, to find the empty spaces and everything. Yeah. So nice job. Yeah. Good. Let's go to the next one. Next one is 18. Uh, on 18, ah, I'll have this one. It's a simple one. Uh, let's, let's run it, but. Um, um, it's simple, and I think it's um, the prompt is just with um, um, here. The prompt is format this as a table. That's all. Delete. It's busy the chat GPT this, uh, this evening. He finished and voila, we have the uh, the data with uh, grand total, total uh, ID description, quantity, um, and so on. Yeah. So we have all the data very well. Good. Uh, done also with this one. Um, next one. Next one is 19. Uh, let's see how 19 is working. So you see, it's very powerful. You just uh, reuse the code. You have to understand uh, to to reuse uh, that that code, and that's it. Uh, oh, again, I 
the cut on ID. Ah, this has to um, uh, on uh, on two pages. Uh, let's uh, ah on ninety. Uh, it's a long one. Ninety is a long one, and I'll show you the result. I will not. Um, I will not. Um, will not consume ChatGPT for this one. Here is the data from from the other table. But this is the result from 19, yeah? So if you see it's able to extract everything with, um, also with multiple pages, no problem. Done. So 19, very well. Uh, this, let's go to number 20. Number 20. Oh, no, not, um, my bad. See, test. PDF. Oh, this one. Easy, but there is a problem with the header. And let's see how it solves this now. Bam, bam. Let's go to 20. Let's understand here, it's on 20. It's the, um, um, here is the data, how, how you see. So on the prompt, I put create a table with six columns from this data, yeah? So that was the, um, um, I provide him the, the number of columns. Uh, we'll go here, create a prompt with, uh, with five columns. And I, I put him column one, column two, column three, and split by the columns by, uh, by this. Because I'm not able to read the header, I have to force him to, um, uh, to understand this stuff. So you see, I have to force him to uh, to understand um, uh, this stuff because I'm not able to read the header. And this is the 19. Don't save it. And this is the result. Yeah. Um, take a look. One, two. Now it's six columns. I don't know why I put five columns there. Let's go with uh, with six columns. So it was my bad with uh, um, okay. Voila. Uh, but still have a problem. And I don't see where is the problem. So this one is good. This one is good. These are two lines, okay. Um, this one is this one, this one is this one, this one is column two, correct. No, it's okay. It's okay. The only thing is this empty column, he create a new line with uh, with two data. That's uh, the, the only thing. Because the data is, is formed like this. So except of this one, except of uh, of this one, he explained the data very well. So it depends on uh, what you uh, what you want, but he he provides the data uh, the data really well. Except on it. And let's go to the last one. The last one is twenty one, and let's see what we have on twenty one. So this is our table from twenty one, and we cut from post to Zonger. And let's see also the uh, um, the prompt. So this is the prompt to um, chat GPT, format this as a table. Mm 
you see the data and here it's um, it's your data okay good so this was the example with uh, with all the 70s um, files that uh, uh, I, I showed you on the previous um, uh, on the old movie how to build uh, uh, mathematics to be able to extract these files and so on and I share you uh, visual basic code and so on which is hard to understand and here is how I solve let's say 85 percent 90 percent of the problems with uh, chat GPT just calling chat GPT and put, uh, tell him to format the table format the table with multiple columns and so on so the structure is very easy um, again read the data cut the uh, uh, the string and let only the table part do one while through with um, uh, um, do one uh, repetitive stuff with chat GPT ask chat ask uh, put a prompt here to format as a table or particular case as you see in my video and after this create a data table extract the headers and after you extract the headers um, um, put the rows write this one to excel that's it very very easy so as usual if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, um, ask me what else you want to see inside of my channel Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one.